High end homes half built, abandoned by a West Michigan home builder accused of ripping off buyers and subcontractors. A bankruptcy filing for Infinity Custom Homes shows the luxury builder owes more than $3 million. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples discovered they're also under a criminal investigation. Susan? That's right, Whitney. The Kent County Sheriff's Department tells me it is investigating three complaints against Infinity Custom Homes two from home buyers, one from a subcontractor. Infinity is owned by Rich and Stacy Rendon, who've been well respected high end home builders for 15 years, even won awards in the Parade of Homes. But it apparently all started to fall apart in the spring. In this pricey plat near Four Mile in Egypt Valley, several dream homes deserted. A nightmare scenario for families who paid Infinity hundreds of thousands only to learn the company failed to pay subcontractors. This foundation, the subject of a lawsuit filed by the buyers who say they paid Infinity 167,000 bucks to begin construction, but the owners used the funds for themselves with the intent, according to the suit, to defraud buyers and subcontractors. In another affluent subdivision, this one south of 84th near the Thornapple River, another half-built home and a couple completed ones. Buyers told me they paid Infinity and moved in, only to discover those who built their home had not been paid. Same story at this halted home build in a quaint development close to downtown Ada. This is Susan Samples from News 8. I'm working on a story about the accusations against your company. No return call from Rich or Stacy Rendon, but a bankruptcy filing offers some insight. In it, Rich Rendon reports $3.2 million in debt, more than a million of it owed to 27 businesses, another million plus owed to seven different families, and buried in the filing a hint to a potential cause. When asked if he has any claims against third parties, Rendon reported he has a, quote, potential interest in possible claims against banks and or online casinos, end quote. I talked to several devastated home buyers who did not want to talk on camera. They're all trying to figure out next steps. Some have liens against their homes, even though they paid. One question everyone has, how did Infinity get banks to release funds? Normally, subcontractors have to sign lien waivers to prove they've been paid before the builder can take another draw. The subcontractors I reached say they never signed any waivers because they were never paid. The Sheriff's Department told me it's in the initial stages of its investigation the bankruptcy attorney told me they had no comment, though they did note that they are representing Rich Rendon only. He filed bankruptcy independent of his wife, Stacy.